Welcome back to the channel. My name is Abram and welcome to another European Championship group match. It's a tie in Group D at Hampton Park in Glasgow uh, between Wales and the first time qualifiers for the tournament, uh, Georgia. Yesterday, England suffered a shock 3-1 loss at Wembley to Slovenia. So a win for either of these. We'll see them join the Slovenians on three points. Georgia uh, and Wales can one of them get the win here georgia of course the first time in a major tournament wales after their success uh, and good run last european championships will be looking to build on that so the team news wales with a 4-2-3-1 formation no injury concerns for them uh, danny wall is in goal the leicester keeper uh, ben davies ethan ampadu joe rodon and kieran freeman that back four uh, Aaron Ramsey, captain in the side, he's alongside Harry Wilson playing in a pretty unfamiliar central midfield role, usually pushed a bit further on as a winger. Uh, Gareth Bale is on the left wing with Daniel James on the right. David Brooks in that central attacking midfield spot with Tyler Roberts playing up front. Georgia meanwhile line number a 4-4-2 formation. Couple of absentees for them. Yano, the wire player, has got an ankle injury. And Grigolava, the central defender, is in the middle of a three-match ban. He was sent off in their qualifying uh, playoff semi-final. So he is serving a uh, three-match ban and he's done one. He's got two more to serve. So he will miss this match and he will also miss the match against England. But it's a 4-4-2 and it's Makaridze in goal and a back four of Diwali, Kashir, the captain, uh, Kivik Vela and Kakabadze. Midfield four, uh, Karajvili on the left wing, Abhijania and Kitaishvili, those central midfielders, and Zarandia, the right winger. And the two strikers, Kivitalia and Kazajvili. Wells will be favourites for this one, seeing as Georgia are the newcomers. Uh, we're in Glasgow, in Scotland. Let's see how this goes. Well, I didn't really expect that. David Brooks has scored for Wales with 25 seconds on the clock. It's the fastest goal of the tournament so far. Well, it was Gareth Bale with the ball, and then David Brooks just went through the Georgia defence like they were nothing. He was one-on-one, -on -one, play shot, Makarazi did get a hand to it, but could not stop it from going out, and it's an early goal for the Welsh. But Georgia with a long ball by the keeper, and it's Karaj really, and the ball given away, and it's Daniel James goes back to Danny Ward. It's Pouring with rain here at Hampton Park in the middle of June. That's British weather for you. Bale. Making the run down that left flank. Can he cross in for Roberts or anyone? It's uh, oh, it's blocked. And it's Brooks and it's a good save by Makaridze. Good chance for Wales to make it 2-0 there. Gareth Bale thought he'd cross it, but he pulls it back for Wilson. It took a block and then Brooks' effort was saved by Makaridze. Out wide for Karajvili. Georgia playing a very patient game here. And back over the header, but not quite on target. Close. Wells with another corner kick. 22 minutes gone. Header. Oh, it's uh, off the post, I think, and it's cleared. Now it's David Brooks. Wales have been dominant in this game so far. Georgia not really offered too much. Here is Ethan Ampadu. He stayed fairly far forward. Finds a ball for Daniel James. James keeps it in by the corner flag. And uh, the cross is blocked. Bow throw. Harry Wilson, back to Gareth Bale. It's a cross, headed away by Diwali. Here's Kivitaya to Kashir and Karajvili really now. And Georgia needs to start creating some chances here because they haven't really done so so far. They've got a good spell of possession with them, but they just not really mounting any attacks. It's just very patient passing. Here is Zarandia though, and this could be a chance for them here. Zarandia still going, finds the, well, finds the goalkeeper. Danny Ward's equal to it. And uh, Freeman wins the header there. James, back to Kieran Freeman. And Daniel James, can he use his pace here? He's, well, he's always kept it. He's held on to it. Here's Ramsey, the captain, to Brooks. Aaron Ramsey to Bale. Bale's got it back. Oh, give him the ball away there. He could have gone to the left, but no. And now it's Zavako. And Georgia, now this could be a chance. Zavako still got it, gets the shot on target away. But Ward makes another stop. Vako could have cut inside, but decided not to. He went wide. Didn't work. Oh my god, they scored 30 seconds into the second half as well. It's Daniel James assisted by Brooks. And 30 seconds into the second half, Wales make it two. Again, I was being quiet because I thought it was the opening highlight of the half. But Bale keeps it in play. Header away. Only as far as Brooks. Brooks' first shot is blocked. It falls to Daniel James. James scores. So Wales score at the start of both halves. Here's Tyler Roberts. Wales well on top in the game. Kieran Freeman's up from right back. Back to Roberts. 
It's Bale, it's 3-0, 48 minutes on the clock, and Wales are flying. Three goals to nil. Gareth Bale on the score sheet now. Kieran Freeman finds Roberts in space. Roberts with a cross. Bale with a header. Georgia poor defensively. Three goals to nil, Wales. Diwali. To Kitaishvili. Saba. Kitaishvili. This is Georgia. They're, they're, you know, the possession's not all there. They just can't break down Wales. Here's Kakabadze. Can they get a big chance away here? No, again, it's straight at Danny Ward. Brooks gets it back. Roberts. That's a good ball out for Ben Davies. Can they get some men into the area? It's Roberts. Oh, it's off the bar. I think it was a save, actually. It's a corner for Wales. 65 minutes coming up. Warson free kick. And it's, oh, it's off the post by Brooks. The keeper came out for it and got, got lost. 74 minutes. It's Vako to Kakabadzi. Abajania. Vako. Georgia, can they find a goal at the very least? Uh, no, it's a corner though. Four minutes of stopper sign to play. Another corner for Wales. It's Wilson and it's held on to by the Georgia goalkeeper. Can Georgia get a consolation goal as we're into the first minute of four in injury time? It's Diazamze and another save by Ward. Last chance for Georgia and it's a header and it's over. Well, Wales dominant in their opening match. Um, they were odds on to win. And they did so. Good performance. Good win. Uh, Brooks and James scoring at the start of each half. Um, less than 30 seconds into the first half. And about 30 seconds into the second half. Two minutes after that James goal. Gareth Bale makes it three with a header. Uh, Georgia not enjoying their first appearance in the tournament. Couple of big chances that they had. Which they just could not take. Uh, Wales were just lethal with their attacking. And uh, managed to get the three goals. So they will be disappointed with their first appearance. Um, not a fantastic performance by them. But Wales, three goals to the good. Wales with no yellow cards. Georgia picking up three bookings. Kvig Velia with the yellow card. Abujania and Zarandia who were substituted. So Wales will top Group D with that 3-0 win. Slovenia in second place also with three points. Uh, Georgia and England at third and fourth. England with that poor defeat at Wembley against Slovenia. So Wales and Slovenia a good start and they face each other in the next round of games. So they'll be looking to uh, maybe get maximum points so far. Meanwhile, uh, Georgia go to Wembley to take on England. And England surely a must win game for them. And if they don't win that, then really they don't deserve to go through. They should be winning this group with ease. And, well, they lost the first game. Uh, they should be clear favourites to beat Georgia. Let's see if they can. Uh, that will be in um, a few days' time. Uh, join me tomorrow where there will only be two games. And they will be from Group F as uh, Turkey take on Norway in Budapest in Hungary. Uh, meanwhile, Germany welcomes Switzerland. And, of course, it's not the German national team we're all used to because it's made up from fake players because of my mistakes. Uh, which were explained in the group preview video, so uh, Germany made up of fake players. Uh, but yeah, tomorrow it's only two games, and it's both games from Group F. Uh, we'll see how they go. But that's going to do it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, drop a like down below, leave comments, and if you haven't done so already, or if you're new, then do consider subscribing and turning on notifications. Join me tomorrow for the two games to kick off Group F. But for now, thank you for watching, and I will see you soon. Goodbye.